everyone in this video we are going to talk about how to find the value of a side or an angle in an isosceles in an isosceles or an equilateral triangle so if you're working on Excel geometry k9 congruency in isosceles and equilateral triangles so the first question is about the value of an angle so the first step is to determine uh, what kind of a triangle we have so looking at the marks on the side two sides are equal if two sides are equal, you have an isosceles triangle. If two sides are equal, their opposite angles are going to be equal as well. What does that mean? So, so let's let's just take this side. The opposite corner of this side uh, is right here, 72 degrees. Uh, the way to determine that is just draw that side. You're talking about this side, right? It touches two corners right the corners are W and Y the corner that the side does not touch is the opposite angle so this side doesn't touch angle X they're opposite so that's how you can determine so 72 degrees is going to be equal to the measure of the opposite angle of this side because two sides the orange and pink sides are equal their opposite si angles should be equal as well. So the opposite, this orange side touches corner W or vertex W and vertex X. The one that the side doesn't touch is B. Therefore, we would say B equals the other angle, 72 degrees. Okay, so that's step one is determine what type of uh, an angle, what type of a triangle you have. And then step two, use its properties to figure out the missing side or an angle. Okay, the next question, what is the value of V? Let's see if V is a side or an angle. It's an angle over here. Two sides are equal. We are dealing with an isosceles triangles. That means two opposite angles are going to be equal. Side BC, focus on side BC it touches B and C it does not touch D so that means angle D or that lowercase V is going to be the same as start from this point look at your side it doesn't touch the other corner it doesn't touch B so these two should be equal like V and B must be equal do I know either one of their values V is unknown B is not even there so, but I know that they're going to be equal, right? So, if angle D is V, angle B is going to be the same. Now, the most popular property of a, any triangle, their interior angles add up to 180 degrees. So, my interior angles in this triangle is 110, V and V. So, the first method is setting up an equation. You can just say you can just start with angle B oops that doesn't look like an angle sign angle B plus angle C plus angle D equals 180 you can start from here and then plug in everything B is V C is 110 D is V they should add up to 180 degrees combine the like terms on the same side like V plus V I have 1V plus 1V uh, they make up 2V then drop down that 100 on the left side of the equation drop down the equal sign and then the right side combine the like terms on opposite sides which means do the opposite of one of them that doesn't look like 180 degrees get through the 110 I'm trying to get the 2v by itself first so drop down the 2v on the left 180 minus 110 is 70 get the v by itself it's multiplied the inverse is divide by 2 so V equals 35. That's one method. The other method is easier. You just look at what you have. You have 110 and two unknown angles that are equal, right? Just uh, many of you I know do this method. So the whole thing is 180 degrees. 110 is already given. So the sum of this corner and that corner must be one must be 70 degrees. And they're all equal. Divide that 70 by 2, the answer is 35. 
takes less work but it requires you to know what you're dealing with and once you know that they add up to 180 degrees and then the two angles are equal you can use that method to figure out that missing angle which is 35 degrees okay now again I see two sides equal this one here and that one right there and then therefore looking at side yx like this right here the opposite angle is C this one right here the opposite angle is 62 they are equal because the triangle is isosceles because two sides are equal when you have isosceles triangles two sides are equal therefore two opposite angles are equal one of them is C the other one is 62 they are equal this one was the same as the first example we had the second example was a little harder because we add we added them all together to 180 degrees and then solved an equation right here what is the value of P we see what angles are equal right now this is like the opposite of what we have done so far this time we know the equal angles and we can figure out the equal sides so if this angle and that one are equal their opposite sides are equal so the opposite side to angle F is right here the side that does not touch angle F right across from angle F I have 14 that 14 should be equal to the opposite side of the same symbol so P would be 14 again the logic tells me the properties of isosceles triangles tell me when you have these two that your opposite angles opposite sides are equal like opposite side means this one here and that one here right across from the angle those two should be the same P is unknown but this one here is known so I can just tell that P is 14 because they must be equal 14 is right here okay now what is the value of y y is an angle I know the other two angles 60 and 60 subtract these two from 180 you will end up with 60 degrees for the third angle so therefore it would be 60 degrees if you want to do a textbook solution what you would do is add all of the angles together angle s plus angle u plus angle t they would add up to 180 degrees s is unknown it is y the value of angle s is y the other two are 60 degrees like terms should be combined they add up to 120 right side is the same drop down the y get the y by itself subtract 120 y equals 60 degrees just want to show you both of the methods uh, equation solution uh, if you need a textbook solution or not if not you can basically subtract them from 180 degrees and then write the value of y depending on your teachers expre uh, expectations you can choose which method is best for you okay let's skip a level and see if the questions get harder okay let's do this one we have two unknown angles now you cannot just assume that it is going to be 66 okay just because there's only one angle given you need to figure out what kind of triangle you have I see two sides being equal this is called an isosceles triangle therefore two angles are going to be equal at least two angles uh, okay so this side here and that side here are the same that angle and this angle will be the same here's how I determine that find the opposite angle to this side right there 66 degrees is going to be equal to another angle that angle is right across from this because the two sides are equal angles across from them will be equal so B is 66 degrees and then if B is 66 how do you find that angle A all you have to do is take out what you have so do 180 minus 66 minus 66 and then that is going to be equal to angle A so let's add them together 
132 degrees subtracted from 180 degrees 48 would be the answer to this one here so let's do one more if the questions get any harder if I when I skip a level okay let's do this one as well what is the value of a so this angle is 125 we have a linear pair over here they're creating a line two angles 180 minus 125 is going to give you the measure of that angle 120 minus 125 180 minus 125 so uh, and then since this angle equals to that one this would be 55 as well now we have two angles of a triangle two interior angles if you take them away take them out of 180 degrees uh, a is going to be you see 70 degrees so this one here is going to be 70 because when you do 55 plus 55 they add up to 110 180 minus 110 that equals to 70 degrees so that's all for this assignment guys thanks for watching we learn how to identify the missing side or an angle of an isosceles triangle or an equilateral triangle we worked with linear pairs as well uh, again steps are determine the type of your triangle see what sides or angles are going to be equal those are going to be e opposite sides and opposite angles by the way and then from there keep in mind that the interior the three interior angles of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees for sure and then use those properties to get your answers again thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another video